All right. It's a little murky. Still see the bottom. Like I said, the weather report says be 80 degrees by next weekend. So we got to get this back in shape. All right. All right. Well, got the weed eating done. We got our equipment back. And uh, so pool's a little murky. Not too bad for sitting all winter. Little vacuuming next. And uh, ballast the chems out and see how this thing goes. All right, getting the pool open, California style. All right, so what we're gonna do, we got the top off, but um, you see the debris and stuff. We want it settled on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna vacuum this out of the pool. And I'm gonna show you one way, the way I do it. Um, but a lot of that is actually phosphate remover. So I wanna let you know, doesn't matter what kind of pool you're opening or where in the country you're opening it at, it's been sitting uh, and it needs to be ready to take chemicals and use chemicals. Chemicals are a great sanitizer. Chlorine's a sanitizer. It's not a great, um, at getting organics out. What you're gonna to wanna to do, what I did before I took the cover off, now I like the Arenda family, so uh, we're using some Arenda products here, and what they are is, you've got the CV600, which is the enzyme, CV700, which removes the organics and phosphate, so it's a combination. The PR10,000 is phosphate remover. So what I did was, before I even took the lid off, I threw my phosphate remover in there and I threw my enzymes in there, um, purged the pool. So you're gonna read on the back, it's gonna say, you know, like a quart for 10,000 gallons or whatever. You wanna hit it hard, get the organics out. Uh, like the CV700, that's something you could use on a, a weekly basis once you've already done this and it just takes a squirt an ounce here and there a couple ounces for 10,000 gallons i uh, read the directions but i already put them in and that's what's settled on the bottom so it's ready to vacuum out um when you're vacuuming a vinyl pool they recommend using one of these vacuums with the brush now i'm going to use my standard vacuum the, the reason they want to use a regular the brush kind of vacuum is so it doesn't suck the plastic up but the equipment on these little pools aren't is not strong enough that this thing is going to cause any problems and the wheels work way better than the brush i will brush the pool with the brush afterwards so but i do want to also tell you if you have uh now we can see the equipment <clears throat> if you get a the, the this is the minimum of what you want for an above ground pool. It's, gosh, it's a couple hundred bucks. You know, you, you probably get it off Craigslist, but that little sand filter right there, I can backwash this thing out anytime I need to. I can run this thing as many hours as I need to. It's a perfect size pump. It just plugs in 110. If you get one of these pumps and it, it just has the off on, there's no timer. So I have to come out, turn it on every day or whenever I want to. But I'm gonna tell you the trick is over here. This little guy right there. This is a smart plug. So I have a smart plug. So I bought it at the hardware store for like 20 bucks. I plugged it in and I program it from my phone. So I have an app on my phone that runs the, a scheduler. So I actually had it on through winter for a couple days, two or three days a week, for a couple hours at a time. And then we, um, now it's summertime, it's getting to be summertime. I'm running it uh, a couple hours every day. And once we start swimming, I'll increase that time. If you have something smaller, and you have the little cartridge filters. You need to run those all day long. You need to clean that filter. If you get any algae, you need to clean that filter all the time, all right? Just keep a few on hand, swap them out, 
clean the filter and you'll be doing good. This is the best way. Uh, so it's a pretty good little pool. It's lasted a few years and doesn't show any problems. So I'm going to vacuum. As you can see, we're on a hill here. So I'm going to gravity feed my vacuuming. These are the return lines, the suction lines, and this one is the single return line. It has two suction lines, so if a kid on the other side gets their hair or something stuck in one, it'll pull the suction from the other, and that's great. Now, if you look on the bottom of new pools, plaster pools, they're going to have two main drains for the same purpose. Um, but it makes it, this little piece of equipment isn't going to vacuum the pool with two pieces here. So I do want to get an adapter so I could just run one hose and it'll be strong enough to run my vacuum line. So I'm going to gravity feed the vacuum. I'm going to throw the edge of the hose over the hill and it's just going to vacuum out of the pool. Uh, I need to get some fresh water in there so it's not a problem. to stop it. <laughs> Look at that river. Uh, so, we have a pretty clean bottom. Now I just gotta net the top. This is the side I showed you right before we vacuumed. Uh, she's good to go. Ready to jump in, get some chems in there, and get her started. Now I'm going to turn it off. Turn the lever over to backwash. Get it back on. Watch out, it's leaking at the hose. So just backwash that out till it comes out clean. Of course, it's gonna keep spraying me. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna turn it off, turn it back over to circulate, and brush it with the vinyl brush. So once we get this vinyl brush, we brush it all. There. Now it's ready. So we're gonna brush it to get the debris that is missed up floating around, circulating into the system. All right, let's get some chlorine in this pool. Let's get the chemicals balanced, I should say. So I have my test strips out. I'm going to uh, go ahead and get it in there, wrist deep or so, shake a little bit of the water off, hold it level like that, and we're gonna compare it to uh, what it says on the numbers. So we have uh, no chlorine. The pH is a little low, alkalinity is good. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm adding water. So I'm not gonna check cause I'm on a well. So this well water may have some balancing into it. So we'll see what it needs to do. But uh, to raise the pH, I'll throw some soda ash in there or some baking soda, whatever I have. I do want to let you know that I have some, uh, you know, just your standard chlorine shock. With such shock, it's still a type of chlorine. And I have a bucket to pre-mix it. So the pool's 6,000 gallons. I'm gonna put, I always just put, I'm gonna put half of one in right now. I'm gonna pre-mix it in my bucket. 
and I'm going to put it in the return side. I'd also want you to know that not to use a tab floater in the vinyl pulls. It will bleach the bottom, but this I got off of my return line. It screws on to the return side of the pool, and it allows me to put uh, some one-inch tablets in here. So I'll just grab the one-inch tablets, put a couple in there, and even though I'm going to shock it now, I'm going to put the chemicals in now, I'm going to put that on so over the next few days, chlorine will still be going in. If you don't have the pool cover, uh, you can get these. Uh, it's called a solar pill. There's a couple different varieties. Uh, but you put this in it, any pool, all pools. It slowly releases... Uh, a non-toxic chemical to isopropyl alcohol, I believe, and uh, it keeps the water from evaporating so fast. So um, that's a really good trick. Uh, if you need to, if you just want to find the right stuff the first time, go to ElitePoolCare.com. It links to Amazon. That's my site. And uh, yeah, they give me a little commission, but it costs you nothing. But you know you're going to get the right product the first time. All your vacuums all your nets and all that so i'm going to put this back in i'm going to blend this up and i'm going to get my chemicals balanced and then i'm going to go on my app and make sure that the pool's running for a couple more hours to circulate it i just wanted to let you know i do use less chlorine in my pool than it calls for because i use the enzymes enzymes alleviate the pressure off of the chlorine, especially in summer. When your kids are swimming, they got sunscreen, they got uh, body fluids, you know, we gotta say it. Whatever's happening, organics get taken care of by the enzymes. So keep the enzymes in your pool, put a little phosphate remover in there once in a while, keep your chlorine levels low until you have a problem, then shock it. All right, you guys, uh, it makes for a more of an enjoyable pool, an enjoyable swim. Have a great day and have a, a safe, blessed summer.